What's up guys, of course, welcome to another video from me, the Scarender. And today we're gonna do, of course, a top 10, it's been a long time going. I've been working on this list actually for quite some time, but I never made it to a top 10. I always had 8 in mind for a really, really long time. And it always bugged me that I couldn't really complete this list, but I finally was able to. And uh, they might be nitpicks, the, two, the first two ones definitely nitpicks. Uh, but just wanted to complete this list, so I think you guys can appreciate it anyway. And my number one choice is probably the only one that is definitely number one. The other one could have been out of order. I'm gonna do a top 10, even though it might have been that everybody and everything could have fitted just fine. So these are my top 10 weird or wrong Pokemon typings in Pokemon. So without further ado, enjoy. And coming in number 10 is actually something that has bothered me, but not really as much. But thinking about it more, it kind of makes sense, and it feels strange it hasn't happened. But that is, look at these three guys. What do you see? It's three bears, right? You see, it, of course, the normal bear with your string with the normal type. You see the ice bear, the polar bear being ice type. But then you see the panda from Jap Japan, right? And it has a fighting type attached to it, the dark type. So wait. It gets a dual typing, but other two does not. Hmm. Yeah, it's something that actually has bothered me a bit. It's I wanted really to see both Yorsaring and Beatty get a fighting typing attached to them. I know it's not really helping them as much, but they have access to the basic fighting attacks. And I think at least for Beatty it would have helped it a lot. And yours ring maybe to some extent uh, it doesn't have access to scrap and whatnot, but I just feel that it should it kind of makes sense, and uh, it would have made them a bit more complex to use than all right now, and uh, that's why Pangoras use you and they are an NU. It's really that simple. That stab is something they needed, and they have the raw power to pull that off. So uh, like I said, first two are not picks, but this one kind of bothers me. So I really. It would have been cool to have seen a fighting ice type. I would have loved to see that. But anyway, that's the number 10 spot. Coming in at number 9 is Torkoal. Now, Torkoal was introduced in Generation 3, and I always thought it was weird that it only was a single fire type. Don't get me wrong, I would have loved to see a rock fire type. I believe, you know, with that shell, that rock seems to make sense to it. Now, I believe that Makarga has the same typing, and it's horrendously bad. Uh, but one thing to keep in mind is that they don't really share a lot of stats. Like, I think that Torkoal is a better defensive Pokemon, it has more defense to boot, and I believe stats like that would have helped it out immensely. Now, Rock type is a very, very mean typing to have if you're a fire type, but at the same time, I can't deny the fact that I feel like this Pokemon really looks like the part. It looks more the part than a cargo does, to say the least. But anyway, like I said, my first spots are a bit of a nif picks. Now we get to the good stuff. Coming in at number eight, and this is really just to have it out of the way because I know everybody thought about Stunfisk when I made this list. And yes, we have to really talk about this. What the fuck just happened? Um, Electric Ground, yes, it's a weird typing. It really is. But at the same time, it's not that it's a weird typing that makes it weird. It's how how you find it and how little sense it makes that it is electric and ground. Now, I do believe, or I think, that it's a fine um, way of getting a typing on it, but I would have much rather have seen water electric or actually ground water. Now, ground water, very, very common typing, not the coolest, not the best, or actually it's really good, but we have already have so many Pokemon with that typing. Uh, but I would much rather have seen like a lantern and of course, um, Road and Wash set on it. I think that would have helped it much more. Uh, with actually to Skull, for example, it would have really helped it out. And have the Thundering or the Earth thing of it as a niche, like a basically like a filler move. I would appreciate it much more, and I would have appreciated this Pokemon much more if that were to happen. Now, obviously, that didn't happen. They didn't even get this thing dry skin. It got limber though. Yeah, that, that's really, really bad. But yeah, he's the first guy. Like I said, I just wanted it out of the way. It's, of course, very obvious that he's fitting a list just like this, isn't it? 
And coming in at, of course, the number 7 spot is the one Pokemon I actually thought would have been a, a ground and electric type in. I still believe this is the very day. Like, Heliosk is one of those Pokemon that is a bit of jack of all trades. I could have seen it as a fire electric, I could have seen it as a dragon electric, but I would have been fine with a ground electric. And Heliosk, with that speed that it actually got and special attack, it would have been amazing having the likes of Earth Power on it. And I just fairly believe that the normal typing is fine on it. It just would have been so much cooler with, uh, with of course, the ground typing attached to it. And even with dry skin, please, it would have been so cool to use. And so many good utilities comes with that. And uh, just overall, Heelisk is a really, really good Pokemon. And I just still to this day find it really strange that it's still a normal typing. When you find it, after all, on the way to a tunnel where only the ground types you can meet. It still perplexes me, it really does. And at number 6 is actually a, a thing that I can debate till the day I die. But it is these guys. Yeah, there is a joint place, much like the first one. Um, Mesprit, Azel, and Yuxi are the pixies without a freaking pixie typing to it or fairy typing. Yeah, I still to this very day just can't get that out of my head. How? Did these guys not get the fair typing? Gardevoir makes less sense than these guys. They're pixies. The pixie. Pixie trio. What happened? And they all got access to Dazzling Gleam. They are basically your average psychic type. Um, of course, legendary psychic types. And um, yes, like I said, till this day, I'm really just, I don't get it. I was so sure, you know, once you got access to these three guys, that oh, this is gonna be like, um, like Catan Ewer and uh, the Whimsicott, like wow, a hidden fair type that we didn't even know about. But no, still psychic, nothing special about them. And the thing is, that typing would help them a lot. It would actually, I think, they would have pressured every single one of these to, you know, move up in the tiers, really. And yeah, that's really why I, this is on number. What is that six spot? Because it's just it blows my mind really. Now at the number five spot, this is a bit stranger because I don't necessarily dislike the typing. I don't. Uh, I think ground and dragon make sense. I like it, but it always been one thing that kind of bugged me. Yeah, that that that's a bad pun, but yeah. I really thought that Flygon would have become a bug dragon or bug ground. Um, Crabbing Star is a bug, not by typing though, it actually is a ground type after all. It probably evolves ground dragon and it keeps that typing through the evolution to Flygon. But I myself always thought that Flygon would have been a much better bug dragon Pokemon and the stabs are there to for it to pull that off. Don't get me wrong, I would have liked to keep that earthquake with that, but uh, just as a standalone Pokemon, I really believe that Garchomp, for the likes of uh, comparing, Landshark sounds more promising than uh, whatever this guy is, and uh, I really like Flygon. Like, it's not a bad typing. I just would have liked the other typing much more, and uh, I would have liked to see that outplay itself in uh, the meta game. And uh, yeah, that's really why it is on. The middle here because the other four are much bigger deals and now we're gonna start with the real guys and the first one though is gonna be Lunatune and Solarox mostly Solarox though um, Lunatune is I would have wished that it wasn't your standard rock psychic or isn't standard but it wasn't that it wasn't psychic uh, much like, like dark typing or ice typing water feel like it couldn't make sense water more uh, ice kinda um, but um, yeah, the thing is though, Solarx is probably one that really really stands out. It should have been fire, it really 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 should have been fire. Should have been a fire rock type with Levitate, that would have been so amazing. Um, with that said, Solarx still doesn't learn Flare Blitz, nor a physical move with his fire related. Which, till this very day, th th that's fucking strange, it, it really is. And uh, Solrox overall is a very, very useless Pokemon. 
I have found some uses for it myself, but that was a jo as a joke and it kind of worked. But I never pull off something good with it, and I don't see anybody pulling something good out with it. Um, but had it had a like a fire typing to it, it would have made so much difference, and it would have made more sense. It doesn't feel like a psychic type. Even Luna Tune feels more like a psychic type. Solar Suit just have been pure fire. And I would have loved that for it. But yeah, this is why it's on number four spot. Now, top three. Coming at number three is Seismitoad. And I'm gonna be honest here and say the same way I did like Flygon. Water ground typing makes sense to some extent on it. It's a good typing, I like it, I use Seismitoad a lot. But something that always kind of screw off my mind was that this thing looks freaking poisonous. It really does. But look at those eyes. They are red. They are really, really, really red. And you got pimples which really, really look poisonous too. So I always thought that this guy was water poison. And till this very day, I thought that that set would have, or that typing would have made more sense to it. Don't get me wrong, water ground makes kind of sense. Just poison makes more sense. And um, a water poison type would have been so nice. It really would have been real nice to have one more. And it could have kept its abilities being water absorb and swift swim. I think that would have been great. Yeah, I think it really would have worked really way great with that stabs. But yeah, nothing really more to say here. Um, like I said, I actually didn't know this was a uh, ground water until I played uh, X and Y. Till then, I thought it was a weird time. I thought it was weird. I couldn't hit with electric moves, so I felt felt really stupid. But now we know the typing. It's um, more functional Swamper, if you ask me. Um, but Swamper got Swift Swim after all, or eventually. But yeah, that is why it was another free spot. Number two, Go Goat. Oh, I can see you guys screaming in pain. I sure am. Um, also, much like the other typings or Seismic Ode and Flying, really, Grass makes sense to it. Looks like a grass Pokemon, um, but only grass, not so much. For me, I would really hope and I really wished that this thing had something more than your average grass type. Don't get me wrong here, I was just... something just wouldn't let me go that I really thought when this one was showing up that this was an electric grass type. Now hear me out on this, because we're getting to that area where I believe most people don't get it, and that's fine. Um, but if you play Final Fantasy 6, 7, no, 10, uh, there's a summon known as Exion, which is actually a unicorn formed like a goat with electric shock through its horns. And I believe once that um, they showcased trailer with Go Goat and it used wild charge, I was like, oh, 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 awesome! A grass electric type. That would have been really good. We only got Rotom Maw until this point, and we still only got Rotom Maw till this point. And of course, he didn't change it up. He is just. Now, Gogot is a good Pokemon. I hate it so much. I really like using it. I hate going up against it. But I really thought that Gogot was gonna be a game changer. And when it wasn't that, I was so disappointed. Uh, give credit though to the Gogo for being a very very good Pokemon in the lower tiers. But had it been an electric type and attached to it, I really believe that Gogo would have been so much better. And it annoys me so much that it isn't. Um, had it been, had an electric typing and got access to Earthquake, Rock Slide, you know, a lot of good moves plus military recovery, that thing would have been really 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 nice. Uh, that did not happen obviously. And um, it's something that, you know, it's really in my opinion alone, really. And uh, I always thought that it should have got that, and sadly we didn't. And that is, is what is on number two spot. Coming in at number one is the most annoying thing ever, Mega Gyarados. And this is a thing that hasn't really bothered me, you know, since like Aura or something like that. No, this is since it was introduced, I found it in X and Y, and it was a dark typing. Now it did bug me that the only stab it had was Bite, yes. But that was not really the biggest deal for me. The biggest deal was that it had an honest chance to become a Dragon type. I always saw Gyarados as, like Charizard, you know, it got that weird treatment where it wasn't a dragon but it looked like a dragon. They, they fixed that, 
on Charizard. I was so sure it's gonna pull the same stunt here and make a water dragon, which have been so cool. But no, <laughs> they didn't do it. They didn't do it. They, they no. <laughs> and it, like I said, it's still bothering me to this day because Dark type is fine, but it isn't. Isn't really like complicated. It doesn't complement the typing or the Pokemon itself. It goes from being resistant to fighting to actually getting pretty much killed by it. And it bothers me so much. Uh, yes, you get, of course, the avoidance of electric typing, you know, being able to resist that. I get that. I still don't like it. And I could go on for a rant for hours about this, but this is something that really is a missed opportunity. Had it become a dragon typing, do you know what would have happened? It would have been taken neutral all of a sudden from <laughs> electric types, which would have been incredible. Um, it would have taken neutral from nice type, which would have been incredible too for a dragon. And just overall, it would have taken a lot of neutral hit. Water dragon typing is a really, really good typing. And I thought Gyarados would have become one of those really, really scary Pokemon that nobody could beat. But they still managed to just screw him over and make sure that this guy can go down with almost any matchup if he can't outspeed. Now, give credit to Mergyaros, as I will do that and say it's a very, very good Pokemon. I just see it as a missed opportunity to make something bigger, better, and I still can't believe till this day that they didn't do that with that Pokemon because it had opportunity and a chance to become one of the greatest Pokes ever, and they just they didn't do it. And now we have a Pokemon that's still good, but not nearly as good as it could have been, and that really, really, really sucks. So yeah, that's the list guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this list and I really want to hear your guys' opinions of course, is there a weird typing that is still is boring you and you feel like it should have been something else? Um, Game Freak has their way of really making good typings and some of them makes actually a lot of good sense, some of them don't, that's why there is this list after all, but at the same time we can't have three typings Pokemon ever either. It would have really complicated things, but um, yeah, I guess that would be all for me. I hope you guys enjoyed this, and like I said, if you want more top 10s, leave a like and comment and subscribe if you're new here, of course, and I'll make sure to upload one very soon. If we can reach 20 likes, then I'm going to upload that the next video next week. But anyway, guys, I want to thank you for watching, and remember, the sky is the limit. Until next time, bye.